So what I'm going to go over today is how to paint your Airsoft AEG. So what you're going to need is, uh, obviously you're going to need your AEG. The other things that you're going to need for this is you're going to need some really fine grit sandpaper for your flash hider. If you want to take your flash hider off, you don't have to take your flash hider off. I would actually recommend leaving it on because it'll just make it a lot easier. It'll make this whole thing quicker. So um, you'll need a punch. You'll need a uh, uh, crescent wrench. To use this punch, you'll want to use a hammer. And so having any kind of hammer so you can hit the, hit the... What I got is, uh, this is a little bit of a, of a brown. This is a light tan right here. And then the last one is a little bit of an OD olive green. Hey, the other thing that you'll want is you'll want to make sure to keep your KWA box if you were thinking about throwing it away, keep it. Um, this would be my KWA box right here. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through how to remove the flash hider. Uh, what we're gonna use is that, that little screwdriver uh, with the hex fitting. This is something that I got from Harbor Freight, I believe. Uh, it's got a really small, really, really small hex uh, bit and uh, I'm sorry, Allen. It's an Allen bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to release the set screw here. That's the first thing I'm going to do. Uh, wrench, uh, not crescent wrench, but um, uh, vice grip. And what they say in the instructions is you're supposed to use a towel or something to um, cushion this barrel and then put this over the barrel and hit the crescent wrench on and tighten that thing down. And when you do that, then you're supposed to use this crescent wrench and remove the barrel like I showed you because the 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 flash hider from the factory is on so tight that you don't want to hold on to the back of the gun because you'll end up tweaking the whole forearm on the gun so my disclaimer is make sure this this flash hider has already been broken off the gun which means that it, come, it came off a lot easier than it normally would make sure that you read the KWA instruction manual and you look at the KWA um, forums for uh, removing your barrel and cleaning your hop up and all that stuff. Okay, what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna leave all of my uh, my rail covers on, um, but I'm gonna get my fine grit sandpaper and I'm gonna just start stuffing this thing up. Okay, so here's our uh, next part. Uh, hopefully you can see on here, you'll see that there's a little bit of a film, there's a little bit of a dust on the barrel. Um, you can also see there's, there's dust on the receiver. Hopefully you can see it. Um, you need to get that off before you paint it. And it doesn't have to be really good, but a little bit of prep goes a long ways. So what I'm going to do is I got a rag, which is right here, and then I took this rag and I put a little bit of water on it. But the other thing that I'm going to do, so it doesn't take so long to dry, is I'm going to get some uh, rubbing alcohol, and it can be 70%. This is 90% just because this is what I had, but I'm going to... So first I'm going to start off with uh, my Rust-Oleum um, tan. I want that to be my base coat. Also, if I had any um, optics on here, I would cover my optics, but since I don't, I don't need to worry about that. We're gonna go over kind of how to paint and uh, how to get this thing done. Make sure you shake up your skin really good. All right, when you're doing this, start with some strokes on your cardboard to get the paint flowing. Also, you know, um, kind of how to do your strokes because you don't want to drip anything and multiple coats is okay you don't want to try to get this all done in one coat
Okay, since uh, we're waiting for the um, RS to dry, what we're going to do is we're going to start painting our mags. Now, one thing I didn't tell you is that you will want to go get some kind of pain, uh, painter's mask, uh, painter's uh, tape. Uh, I think it's called painter's tape. This is painter's matte green tape. And um, you want to cover up the top of your uh, your mags, specifically where the bolt, uh, the bolt, the uh, BBs are, and then also the little box where that's going to be where your mag will clip into your gun. So we just want to make sure that thing doesn't get gummed up with paint. So the uh, KWA is pretty much dry on this side. Uh, what I can do is I can just touch this a little bit and, and nothing comes off. I'm looking for the high points. When I roll it over, this is the high point, this is the high point, this is the high point. And we're looking pretty good, handles good. So I'm going to go ahead and flip this over. Uh, there's a couple of wet spots right in the, in the creases, but no big deal. I'm going to go ahead and flip this over. We're going to get to work on the other side. The other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to use a box that you can see here and I'm going to get my practice coats going so you'll see that I kind of get the flow here, see how it's working and then what we're going to do is that we're just going to go like this. So here's my rig. Uh, this is also the gun that we just painted. Uh, I would say that, you know, it's not perfect, but, you know, for the most part, you know, it accomplishes what I wanted it to do. Uh, you know, if you really want to go through it and uh, be an expert at painting, you can always repaint your rifle. Start with the tan or start with the base coat and uh, repaint it and uh, make it look great. When you put your mag in, uh, your gun or you use your operating handle a lot of the paint will just wear off if it's in the way it'll wear off so you see my dust cover came out you know it's out of the way and uh, everything's clean on the inside so I didn't even tape that I just closed it and everything's clean so we're all good hope you enjoyed it and um, feel free to leave some comments if you want and um, we'll see you guys later